The design of experiment in Takuchi method adopts the concept of fractional factorial to reduce the number of experiments and then using analysis of mean to find out the directions of each control factors on the output Sn to predict the optimum design in the full factorial to reduce the number of experiments. But the problem is, are you sure what you predict is the best in the full factorial? Is there any mechanism we can check whether this assumption is correct or not? And what is the following procedure if the prediction is not correct? So we are going to introduce how to verify your experiment using adaptive model. Assume you are doing an injection molding examples. You want to reduce the shrinkage rate. You are considering three control factors. The first one is holding pressure, and the second one is booster pressure, and also the screw speed. You assume two level design, so you can put them in a L8 fractional factorial. And the full factorial design will have eight combinations. A, B, C, which are two level, so in total eight combinations. In a full factorial, you can do samples, and this is sample result, and this is the average shrinkage. Before doing analysis mean, we can simply select the best combination from the full factorial, which is number six, the combination 212, because the shrinkage is minimized. However, we can use analysis of mean to find out the direction of each control factor on the output shrinkage rate. So we can use the analysis mean from the response table. We can get the effect plot. This is the effect plot. Based on Takuchi method, we can use the effect plot to find out the best combination of control factors. Since we want to minimize the shrinkage, so we select A2, B1, and C1, which based on the effect plot will produce the smallest shrinkage. Now the problem is, if you compare this selection with the previous full factorial, you find out these two are inconsistent. In full factorial, you find out the optimum treatment should be 212. However, from the analysis mean, the prediction is 2-1-1. If you compare the result in the real experiment, as you can see, 2-1-1 is over here. And the shrinkage, the actual shrinkage is 16.3, which is worse than the combination number 6. So we have a prediction issue here. The prediction using analysis mean could go wrong if some assumption is not verified. So what is the assumption of Takuchi method? What is the theoretical background? He can use this uh, effect plot to predict the optimum. Takuchi method assumes the relationship between the output and the control factors is this kind of linear adaptive model. And this is a fractional factorial experiment, so the model is somewhat different from the numerical continuous variables that most people are used to. Say if you have a combination Y based on three control factors which are set at different level, I, J, K, and in this model he predicts for any factorial combination, the output can be predicted by mu, which is a common variable, plus A and B and C, where A, B, C has different values corresponding to different setting of level. And they call mu to be the mean output, and A, B, C to be the main effects. How to estimate the mean and the main effects? I already showed the result over here. However, I will explain 
why we can use this equation to estimate these unknown variables. So from the analysis of mean, we can estimate the, all the main effects and mean in the adaptive model. Mu will be the total average and the main effect for A, AI, which will be the average output you obtain in the response table minus the total mean. Assume for factor A is set at level I and you simplify the average output in the response table where A is set at level I to minus the total average Y bar, then you will get the main effect of AI. Similarly, you can estimate all the main effect for any level of B and C using the equation. Using the adaptive model, you can estimate all the outputs in the full factorial, even though you are not doing the experiments. So the idea is you are using fractional factorial to estimate all the variables, and then using these variables to predict what is the output in the full factorial. So you can predict what will be the best parameter combination based on this model. As you can see, we want to maximize the output. So the best combination of IJK will be the combination that can provide the maximum output for A, B, and C. From the effect plot, if you can still remember, the effect plot, we select the best level where the SAN can be maximized. If the level provides maximized SAN, then the corresponding, based on this equation, the corresponding main effects will be maximized too. So, the selection from the effect plot actually is the same as the selection from the adaptive model because all the selection will provide maximum output will also provide maximum effects. So the summation of this maximum effect will provide the best combination in the full factorial. Let's use this example to explain why the uh, main effect can be estimated using the average output minus the total average. Assume you have three factors, each factor assumed two levels. So you arrange them in a L4 fractional factorial. In a full factorial, you are supposed to have eight experiments. But now you're using fractional factorial L4, so you, you only conduct four experiments. And this is the corresponding output from L4. I put the uh, footnote over here to represent the corresponding level for A, B, and C. In this case, we have three control factors. Therefore, the adaptive model can be written as follows. Mu is the total average or the common variable plus AI, BJ, and CK, which are the main effects of factor A, B, and C. And this epsilon stands for the difference or the error between the prediction and the actual value. This is the actual value. Now the problem is, what is this variable? Since we have two levels, therefore we have A1, A2 need to find out because we have two levels. So the total variable we have mu, which is the common variable, plus A1, A2. And then for factor B and factor C, there are also two levels. So in the adaptive model, we also need to find out what is B1, B2, C1, and C2. In total, seven unknown. Now we have L4, which means that we conduct four experiments. We can substitute these four combinations into the adaptive model. Here, you can see in the first experiment, this output, if I estimate it from the Adaptive model, you will be mu plus A1, B1, and C1, since they all set at level 1, 1, 1. Same thing for the second experiment, the level is 1, 2, 2. And 
you can substitute into the adaptive model, this estimated value should be this. You can do all four experiments and attain four equations like here. But you want to solve for seven unknown, but only have four equations, which is under constraint. So you will get an infinite number of solutions. Here we add some additional constraint to simplify, to constrain the output space, to make it only one solution. The assumption is the summation of all many facts for each factor will be zero. So in this case, A has two levels. So A1 plus A2, these two many facts is assumed zero. Same thing for B and C. So you have four and three in total, seven equations. Now you have enough equation to solve for all the unknown variable mu, A1, A2, B1, B2, and C1, C2. Let's see what is the result by solving this equation. Let's first try to find out what is the mu. You can sum up all variables for output, and you will have summation yi, which will be equal to, equal to 4 times of mu plus 2 times of a1 plus a2, 2 times of b1 plus b2, and 2 times of c1 plus c2, if you sum up all these four equations. The left side will be the summation of all the output. Based on three additional assumptions over here, you can cancel out these three terms. So, mu will be equal to summation of all the output divided by 4, which is the total average. So from here, you can first find out the first common variable mu, which is the overall experimental output average. Next, let's try to solve for the main effect A1. This will be very similar to the same procedure you find out the response table. If you want to find out the response table for A set at level 1, you will summation the first two output because for the first two experiments, A are set at level 1. So, by substituting this the parameter combination into the adaptive model, you will have these two equations. By summation these two equations, you will have the result over here. From the previous response table calculation, you understand that the left side, y111 plus 1, y122, which is the two times of the average output when A is set at level 1 over here. And on the right side, as you can see, B1 plus B2 will be 0 based on the constraint, additional constraint we set up, and same thing for C1 plus C2. So the total equation will become, can be simplified into 2A1 equal to 2 mu plus 2A1, where A1 is the unknown main effect we would like to solve. By shifting around, you can find out the main effect A1 is equal to the average output of A set at level 1 minus total mean mu, where mu has been solved in the previous uh, 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 discussion that mu is equal to the total average. Doing the same thing, you can find out A2 and B1, B2, C1, C2, and you will find out they will tell us this result, which the main effect can be estimated using the average output from the response table minus the total average mu. Although I didn't go through a very rigorous uh, derivation for all the result, but by using this example, you can have a basic idea how to attempt the main effects, the mu output in the adaptive model. So you can use in the adaptive model to predict every combination in the full factorial, even though you haven't done the experiments. This is a theoretical background for Takuchi method that using the result from the effect plot to predict the best combination. Since this is based on this adaptive model, then we can use this adaptive model to verify whether the actual output will be the same as the result predicted by the 
a data model. And then we can use this information to verify whether our design of experiment is valid or not, which is whether our prediction will be the best in the full factorial. I will show that in the following example.